Hello uh, everyone, because it's all about looking good and you don't want your sim to look like a close-up photo of Wayne Rooney's bell end, I've created X-Plane Explained. This time I'm covering Ortho for XP. Ortho for XP is a free piece of software that allows you to create terrain textures using satellite imagery. In the interest of keeping this as short as a midget suffering from premature ejaculation, I'll start with the shopping list. First of all, you're going to need Ortho for XP. It's available from the developer's Dropbox and the link is below. Make sure when you arrive at the link that you click download rather than drilling into individual folders and files. In addition to the moniker the ladies use to describe my cock, Python is a programming language used by Ortho for XP. You can download Python from the link below. Make sure you install it before running Ortho for XP. The next thing you'll need is terrain elevation data and the best place to get it from is this website. Because it's the 4th of July I'm going to use the Canary Islands in this example. You simply click on the relevant squares to download the data. Now we need a HD mesh, which is available from this website. If you've changed left over from the whorehouse, I recommend donating a few shekels. If not, scroll on down to here, click on the map and zoom in on the area. Click on the area and choose your download source. I chose Aerosoft because I was too lazy to log into xplane.com. Finally, if you don't want your airports to look like they were built over a weekend by travellers, you're going to need some downloaded airports. A great website for these is xplane.org. I strongly recommend joining this site as it's an invaluable resource for all things xplane. It has tons of free add-ons and regular sales on paid for add-ons such as aircraft. After completing a shopping list that would put a nicest bomb making factory to shame, it's time to begin. So here's Ortho for XP in 10 easy steps. Navigate to your xplane 11 custom scenery folder and create a new folder. Call that folder zzz underscore hd underscore global underscore scenery 3. Within that folder create a folder called earth nav data using a capital E on the earth only. Unzip the hd mesh folder, drill into it, copy the folder inside it and paste it into the earth nav data folder you just created. Don't forget to delete the zip file and the unzipped version of it when done. Within your custom scenery folder create a folder called elevation data. Paste in the elevation files you downloaded earlier, unzip them and remove the zip files. Copy the contents of each subfolder into the main elevation data folder and remove all the subfolders. Go to the unzipped Ortho for XP folder. I recommend unzipping it to the drive where you have the most free space. Even an external hard drive will work perfectly. Go to bin, run the Ortho for XP app and in this window select global config. This is extremely important so stop whipping your midget and take note. Under Custom Scenery Directory, make sure each forward slash is a double forward slash. Click Save and Exit when finished. At this drop down, we need to select our Ortho Photo Provider. In most cases, Google and Bing work best, however, in this area, I found SP to be the most consistent. If you don't want your sim to look hideous like selfies on Tumblr, I suggest trying a few sources. Because I like things pretty, I chose Zoom Level 18, but remember, the higher the level, the more space required. Remember to leave the C source blank. Now we select our location from the map. Click on Earth Tile Map and a new window will open. Right click and drag the map to your selected area. Double click to select your required tile and a yellow box will form around it. Click Exit to return to the previous window. Once back click Build Vector Data. This takes about 30 seconds to complete. Take note of the coordinates at the top and tick Custom DEM File. Navigate to the Elevation Data folder and find the file that matches those coordinates. Once you've found the file, click on it, click Open and then click Build Base Mesh. The base mesh takes about 6 or 7 seconds to complete. Make sure all settings in the build tile window are left at default. Then click step 2.5 to build masks. This will take about 1 minute. When that's finished, click step 3, build tile. Because this is downloading and converting photos from your chosen source and takes a considerable amount of time, I recommend the following. Either fire up RedTube and commence a very lazy afternoon blank, or go down the docks and find your favourite tranny to do it for you. Under Build Overlays, click Custom Overlay Directory and navigate to ZZZ underscore HD underscore Global underscore Scenery 3. Do not go any deeper, just click Select Folder and click Build Overlay. Now we're in the final straight. Click and open the Earth Tile Map again and Control click on the tile to create a symbolic link. This creates a symbolic link to the tile in your Custom Scenery folder. At the very start, when we placed the double slashes in Config, we were ensuring that the program could find the Custom Scenery folder. You can now close Ortho for XP. I found that sometimes the overlays don't appear, so to get around this, go to your ortho for xp directory, copy the y ortho for xp underscore overlays folder, and paste it into your custom scenery folder. 
The last step is to delete the scenerypacks.ini file, open and then close Xplane to generate a new one. Now that Xplane is starting to emerge from its cocoon into a beautiful butterfly, there are a couple of things to remember. First, when adding airports, don't copy the unzipped folder straight across to your custom scenery directory. It's the folder within that that you copy into the custom scenery directory. And finally, your mum prefers it from behind. On that note, I thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to dislike or tell me to go fuck myself below.